Hey, what is up? I am the Mo Dog. Like to welcome you to Po Bridge Gaming. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the AVS Nintendo Clone System, produced by Retro USB. I'm not going to go through the typical boring ass specs and features and this and that, yada yada yada. It runs off FPGA. It plays NES. It plays PAL games. And it plays Famicom games. It has a built-in 4 score. A built-in Game Genie. It runs off HDMI. It's got the USB for your power. And it's got a Famicom expansion port in the back. Something I don't have, so I ain't messing with it. But that's just a quick overview. There's no sense in getting all into all the specs and technical bullshit that's just boring let's get straight into some games and see how they play and see if this uh, AVS system plays as well as the analog FPGA systems the first NES game that I really wanted to try was uh, Battletoads it wouldn't play in my Retron HD so I was curious if it would play alright on the AVS and yes it did play pretty good I have to say it looks good on it, plays good. While playing it on the AVS, I didn't have any issues with it this time. All right, now just gonna look at a few of the random games that I tried. I can say right off that I had no issues with any compatibility with any of the NES games I owned. Now this one's Darkwing Duck. It played very good. I was really impressed overall with this one. I thought it looked great. The colors popped real nice. The controls were good. It was solid. So this one's a very good one to play on here. I threw in a few uh, random arcade games. This one's Popeye. And I will admit, I don't have a fucking clue on how to play this game. I've had it in my collection, but I don't think I ever played it before. I'm assuming you run around, grab hearts, get points. I'm really not sure. But I just tried it out, see if it played. It played good. No issues there. Now we have Ice Climber. Yeah, it's a meh game for me. Thought I'd give it a try. I have to say that it actually looks pretty good. The colors are nice. The control wasn't bad. It played decent. It was just another type of game I just thought I'd try. Now we have The Lone Ranger. I need to play more of this game. I've not had it too long. What I've played of it, it's kind of strange, bland. I'll figure it out and play it some more. I don't know if I like it or not. I guess that's the biggest thing. I have yet to find my horse, that's what you're doing in this part, you gotta run around and find a way across the bridge to find your horse, I ain't got that far yet. So it's still a work in progress on this game, but it did play good on here. Now here's a new game that I just recently picked up, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, Zexix, Zexel, Xanax, fuck I don't know. but. Seems like a pretty cool little game. This is actually the first I'd actually played it, so I'm not 100% sure what I was doing just yet, but pretty cool game. Game has decent graphics. I like how the colors pop on it. That's a continuous theme with this AVS. It looks really good, I have to say. Each game I tried, even the shit ones, looked good. And I really, the only games that didn't play good was the games that didn't play good anyway, so it wasn't AVS, it's just shit controls of the game. But 
this is, seems like a really good game here. Karnov's one of these games that, eh, it's not a very good game. Controls are kind of wonky, you're a little fat man running around. It was okay, I guess, not really. The controls are not the greatest in the world. That's the that's what this game is its worst enemy is the controls. They're not very great. So, but it it's worth playing a little bit, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Probably not. It wasn't terrible. I only had three unlicensed games to try. One of them was Bible Adventures. Uh, what more can I say? It worked on the ABS. As we all know, these games are pretty horrible. They ain't worth a shit. But it did play. I can't say it looked good. I can't say it controlled good. All I can say is it played on my system. It's only, it's all I had to try out where I wouldn't have. I also had a Quattro Adventures and this is a line of space head. I had no damn clue what to do. I'm assuming I was supposed to jump on the bubbles and ride them up. Once again, this game, it did play. That's the best I can say for it. I did not have a fucking clue what I was doing. I'd get on a bubble and it seemed like I'd fall. I would, the controls was not very good. Now this one, the, the graphics ain't terrible, the colors look good, but I finally got up a little bit, but it just like that, I, I don't know what happens. I'm assuming you ride them all the way up to the top of the screen, but yeah, I never made it. So, this is horrible, don't waste your money on the Quattro games, they're fucking terrible. Here is another game that I've had on the back burner that I've not gotten a chance to get to yet. This is the Holy Diver. I bought the Retro Bit uh, Collector's Edition that they brought out back, I guess, last summer. It is an awesome game. I love the soundtrack, the music to it. What I've played so far, that is. But I'll tell you, this is one hard fucking game. It is kicking my ass left and right. I have not made it very far. Maybe I, my reflexes are getting a little too slow these days. I don't know. But, yeah, it's pretty tough, but awesome game. If you get a chance to play it, I definitely recommend checking this game out. It'll have you cussing and screaming and pulling your hair out. But, man, it's fun. It's like Kiss playing Castlevania, I guess, would be a good way to call it really good this one looked good sounded good played good excellent game all right let's look at famicom games i only have four of them i have mike tyson's punch out i have the uh, original legend of zelda and i have tecmo wrestling and also have goldman's the mystical ninja I think that's what it's called. Now this is the Goldman's game. I wasn't particularly sure what I was to do in this game. And actually the I had issues. I don't know what happened to my sound in this one. Um, it didn't take. I wasn't going to redo it. So there is no game sound even though there is in the game. But... Really, all I knew what I was doing here, I was picking up power-ups, and I was kicking waiters, and there's a couple ninjas here and there, but really, I wasn't sure what I was doing in this game, but it looks good. The, gra the colors are nice. Alright, so let's look at the wrestling game. I'm assuming I'm Tiger Mask. I'm not really sure who the other guy is. This is your typical NES-type wrestling game. It actually wasn't too bad. I like old wrestling games like this. I need to learn more of the moves. Getting to, get you know, I really wasn't sure what all I could do. It's pretty cool. He threw me out of the ring. And then I do something here. Yeah, yeah, I'll give him like a back suplex. I get back in the ring because I figured, hell, 
if I stay out there too long, but then he starts kicking my ass. I guess that's like a finisher move, a special move there. He took control and he just kept beating on me, but I really like this. It Once again, it looks good. Played really well. Sound was good. I like this game. Ah, uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. One of my favorite all-time games. It's in the top five anyways. This one played excellent, just like the NES version, just like it's supposed to. Super responsive. Played fast, the flow was good. I never noticed any lag. I mean, it played exactly the way the original NES game did on original NES. I was really happy with this game. Really good, smooth. Of course, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is an awesome game anyways. It's just fun to play. I'm gonna actually kick back. I'm gonna play it some more. I'm gonna try to beat, go through it and try to beat Tyson. I have never yet beat Tyson. That's something I'd really like to do. And hell, I'd, I would like to say I did it on the Famicom. Most people do it on the US version. Hey, I'll just give me something to say I did. Is hey, I beat this on the Famicom, but played really well. I was happy with all the Famicom games. They played excellent. And now. What is left to be said about Zelda? I mean, this is the game that uh, pretty much sucked me into being a, a hardcore gamer like I have turned out to be. Uh, this game back in 19, I guess 87, I guess when I got it, I'm not 100% sure. Just sucked me in with its the open world play. Like everybody else, I've beat this game a hundred times. And yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of got stale, I guess, over the years I've played it so much, but at the same time, I start playing it and I get those nostalgic feelings and start thinking about when I was younger, how certain things would was so difficult at that time, and like this dragon right here, it would just, it was so amazing to me back then. I was like, gosh, how am I going to kill this? It was pretty awesome. I love this game. Once again, it plays great on this system uh, the, all the Famicom games did really well I, I mean they all were super responsive the controls were good the gameplay was the speed that they should be I was really happy with it I was quite surprised these were the first uh, Famicom games that I'd ever played I bought them for the specific reason that I was waiting on my AVS to get here. So, because I never had the original Famicom or anything, so. But yes, this is Zelda. Outside of the Japanese language, it's just like the original NES version. Not much to say, it's fucking awesome. Love this game. For my final verdict, I will say that the AVS is a very good quality system. Anyone out there who was like me and you was missed out on getting the analog NT when they was released, this is a very good alternative. I had no issues with any compatibility. All the games that I own, they played well. The Famicom games, they played very good better than I thought they would to be honest the unlicensed games the few that I had they worked this system also fits me for the fact that I am a retro gamer from you know I started at the Atari 2600 and all the way up to today so I'm retro but I'm also modern everything in between I like newer technology to play my games on I'm not one of these who wants to play the old rickety Nintendo from 30 years ago on an old CRT TV or none of that crap. I like I like the modern. I want it to look the best it can. I want it to play the best. I want it, the sound to be the best. So if there's people like that who are like me, I would definitely recommend this system. I have the analog Super NT and I have the new Mega SG. 
and this is ranks right up there with them as far as quality goes um, so I do recommend this system to anyone who is at least on the fence and considered it but this has been the Moke Dog I'd like to say thank you for watching I hope you found it at least a little bit entertaining if nothing else maybe it helped you with the decision on if you'd like to get the AVS by, re by retro USB this is the Moat Dog. I'm representing the PBG. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, com comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.